here, in the most dangerous part of the world. Whatever else we know, an adequate, nutritious, and self-sustaining supply of food is the single most critical component to long-term stability and the very existence of millions of men, women, and children. When the Howard G. Buffett Foundation, the Borlaug Institute, the World Food Program, and Farm Journal Foundation visited, it was in places where few other leaders in the world would ever go. Where brutal Taliban leaders once chased farmers away and then destroyed their centuries-old Buddhas of Bamiyan. To Herat, where more young people than ever before are attending agricultural college. To be able to understand what farmers are going through in a country like Afghanistan with the history that they've had, uh, you can't really get it unless you go talk to them. Where poppy fields have been replaced with saffron, the world's most expensive spice. Where new ways to store crops, food processing centers, and agricultural products are beginning to create jobs and feed a starving population. One of the things that's so striking about this is how little can mean so much to certain people that we just totally take for granted. Where Howard Buffett donated an irrigation system for testing purposes so that farmers might someday improve yields by double cropping. I think that it's important for us to be here, not because this doesn't go on elsewhere in the world, but because we're in an area of conflict and this really dramatizes the need. Where families send their little girls to school for the first time in history. Because people like you and me are donating bags of wheat to their families. And women in general are being elected to office starting agricultural businesses and becoming breadwinners for the first time ever. One of the great things about the task force is their approach is completely different than a vast majority of, of everything else going on in the federal government and, and to an extent a lot of what you see going on with NGOs and, and, and other agencies. It just comes down to getting the right people in the right places and the knowledge and the resources and the information out to those of us who can help. Agriculture is one of the most basic things in the world. We don't think about it that way in the U.S. because, I mean, you could ask a lot of people, you'd say, where's your food come from? They tell you what comes from the grocery store. But it doesn't. I mean, it has to get there somehow. So, I mean, you know, we just don't even think about food the way most people in the world, those five and a half billion other people have to think about it. A place where agricultural investment is making a real difference in the lives of everyday people. In Afghanistan, they themselves are willing to put anything that they can into, into improving their livelihoods. But you could just see a lot of pride in the girl's face when they were given their 10 kilos or 22 pounds of wheat to take home to their family. You know, they were bringing something home. All of this from the ground up. So you've got a group who are willing to push the boundaries within the bureaucracy to just make things happen and to just get results as soon as and fast as possible, knowing that the bottom line as it relates to either a smallholder farmer or a small shop worker somewhere in the streets in Kabul. They will have income for food, they will be able to send their children to school, you will improve security. Everything else will fall into place as long as people have jobs and they feel a sense of pride in what they're doing and hope for, for what will happen in the future. And that's really what this task force has been built around. Because without food, there is nothing else. You know, the truth is, that uh, there's a huge population out there of billions of people that depend on agriculture to, to, to figure out how they're gonna get through the week and through the month. If this is the most dangerous place in the world, it's also the most hopeful. The difference is agriculture. So agriculture is a key component of how the world's gonna develop still 
in many years to come. The difference is you. Farmers feeding the world. We can't turn our backs on these people. These people make up part of the place in this globe that the rest of us do. Farmers feeding the world. This message has been made possible in part by a grant from the Howard G. Buffett Foundation.